So next would be focus on cloud governance and FinOps. And obviously wrote a book on it right there. And so I think it's going to be important. But I always thought that cloud FinOps cost governance, really what it was called for FinOps, and the ability to get governance under, under control of the services and assets that you're allocating and accounting for them and managing them in a correct way is something that's fundamental to everything we're doing. Obviously, I just talked about the fact that we're going to be deploying these things on heterogeneous multi-cloud and hybrid cloud platforms. And in doing so, we have to put a good, good governance framework around it so we can track everything and understand how these things need to be controlled and gated. It also leads to security. It leads to other kinds of technologies and other kinds of architectures as well. So... Focusing on that early on, I think, would have been a better choice. I think it took a while before the industry kind of realized that they needed to focus on that. And really, fairly recently, to be honest with you, FinOps is a, is a recent concept. If it was known early on when cloud first started going, when I first jumped into the cloud computing game, it would have been nice to tell myself back then that focusing on governance in FinOps would have been a worthwhile endeavor. So next would be championing automation and cloud native development. Um, so the ability to use CICD, you know, DevOps principles, agiles, and cloud native patterns like microservice and serverless stuff would have been useful, I think, early in the game. We figure we kind of got into that stuff probably halfway through the cloud journey where we are today versus where we were 15 years ago. And I think it should have been introduced earlier. The, the focus when we first got into cloud computing was to move applications that were on a platform on premises into the cloud and basically find an analog for that platform in the cloud and we're done. It compiles, it works, we're ready to go. The reality is that didn't give us an efficient architecture. It wasn't cost efficient, that's for sure. And so many of these organizations that are repatriating this, these workloads because they were too expensive to run on the cloud basically suffer from that. In other words, they didn't consider cloud native development. They didn't consider refactoring or re-architecting. They just put it on the cloud and kind of hope for the best. And I think we should have put that higher on the radar screen at the time.